This is Witchspace News for Friday the 19th of November 2021 ...I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous news this week ...the hunt for Theta 7 tests the code breaking fraternity like never before ...Frontier update the issue tracker ...the Thargoids continue to burn human starports ...and the great CG frameshift drama. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and if you'd like to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. Just as we were closing off last weeks Witchspace news a story hit Galnet that contained an encoded message thought to be linked to the location of the NMLA terrorist known as Theta7. Contained in the story was a huge string of numbers with no clue on how to decode it. What made the decoding challenge more unusual however was that it also came with a reward for deciphering it. A reward? in the shape of 750 million credits in fact. No small amount. Frontier have been upping the ante on these code breaking challenges with each one getting more and more challenging. The code last week appears to have been the toughest yet. Secret codes and hidden messages have been a feature of Elite Dangerous since the game first launched and the Elite Dangerous community is no slouch when it comes to solving these things. This latest code however rather than being solved in a matter of hours took 3 days for the community to get to the bottom of. Clues to uncovering the cipher were found in game in unusually inaccurate logs at some settlements and megaships. The final deciphered code was posted by Commander Therion Signy and I've linked below to the commanders winning posts on the forums detailing how they broke the code and what it contained. I won't go into any spoilers here on what was or wasn't found as a result of the message but to me this decoding challenge felt somewhat like a test to see just how good the community would be at breaking something more cryptic. Time will tell I guess but it does feel like these things are getting tougher and tougher. Tuesdays livestream from Frontier featured a run through of the latest updates to the issue tracker displaying the top 20 most voted on issues by the community. Most notable were the fixes that are scheduled to be implemented in the upcoming update 9 which drops in December. As well as issues with atmospheric lighting and SRV tracked targets appearing at the wrong altitude which are on the tracker Sally added some fixed issues that aren't listed on the tracker but are a representative slice of the fixes going into the next patch regardless. Those fixes included a yellow adder error when selling cargo, paint jobs not showing up in multi crew, the ships HUD being visible in the external camera hatch breaker limpet issues on non dockable mega ships and stations visibly popping into existence when dropping from supercruise and ship engine trails smoke overtaking the ship when it drops from supercruise. Just a note at this point to say that all the problems listed in the issue tracker come with a handy dandy link that takes you straight to the problem in the issue reporting system. If you're logged into the Frontier website you can then easily drop your own votes against those problems that particularly niggle you. Arthur also mentioned that patch 9 should also contain more improvements to the frames per second commanders are seeing in Odyssey. We know that the new multi crew SRV is dropping with patch 9 and we know that patch 9 is scheduled for December which is only 11 days away now as I speak these words. As the regular Thargs Day Thursday tick and server reboot rolled around this week it became apparent that once again the Thargoid menace wasn't going away anytime soon. In recent history the pesky peril pansies had popped up and made a nuisance of themselves before being battered back and stopped from threatening human settlements but these days it does seem that the caustic alien menace is here to stay with a vengeance. As of this recording 16 systems are in a state of incursion with burning starports and rescue opportunities being a feature in each one. Two starports in the Pleiades region are under repair with haulage efforts for the required materials being coordinated via Operation Ida. 
You'll find links below to all the player controlled agencies that are involved in these actions if you want to get involved. It very much feels like that this is again part of our life in Elite now and I don't think the caustic cabbages are going to disappear anytime soon. In fact all signs point to this getting much worse. If you want to get involved in the effort to push back across Elite Dangerous Horizons or Elite Dangerous Odyssey there's never been a better time. You'll find links in the description below to everything I've talked about. A problem arose recently surrounding the over engineered FSD modules from the second half of the Colonia Bridge community goal that was completed a couple of weeks back. In the previously rewarded modules of this type commanders have been able to additionally add experimental upgrades from the engineers to further increase the FSDs jump capability but with the latest CG's version of the double engineered frameshift modules the upgrade attempt was instead delivering a nondescript error message. After the issue was raised on the forum Frontiers CM Sally clarified the companys position that the inability to further engineer the community goal reward over and above its already double engineered position was in fact by design. But the error message being delivered by the attempt to add experimentals to the module was less than helpful in conveying that intention. Especially as previous examples of over engineered modules had been capable of absorbing the experimental upgrades. The news that these drives were not experimental upgrade capable by design was met with no small degree of less than positive feedback from the community and after a significant back and forth between community, Sally, dev team and then back again the decision was eventually reversed. However the caveat to all this seems to be that going forward any future rewards in this vein will possibly be subject to restrictions around further over engineering and in such instances the messaging from Frontier around what we can and can't do with these modules will be clearer and more upfront. In summary as things stand you should be able to add experimental effects to the CG FSD rewards now. There are still some errors being thrown up by previous CG rewards when experimental effects are attempted. This is under ongoing investigation so it's worth keeping an eye on the forum threads linked below if you've been trying to add experimentals without success. Will you be joining the fight to hold back the caustic alien menace outside the bubble or perhaps helping repair stations? Are you tempted to take another run at Odyssey with its newly improved frame rates? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.